I'm Ken Keo, co-founder of Kehoe Marine Construction. So if it's a floating structure and the permits and, and paperwork's in place, shop drawings are created and get dispatched to our shop. So the raw material comes from the yard, it moves in the shop, it generally starts in the part fabrication. Uh, so all of the small parts are sheared, cut and, and fabricated. The large tubes move into the production line. All the prefabricated parts get followed on the drawing and welded and secured in place onto the structure. When the welding and, and fabrication is complete, it moves through the assembly line down to the next department, which is the finishing department. And it can be finished in either pressure treated cedar or composite products or many other finishing details. It either moves out into the yard, an area ready to be loaded and transported by land, or it gets launched in the water if it's going to be installed within towing distance of our facility here in Ivy Lee. One of our dedicated crews, they're trained to do installations and do the complete installation process with chains, anchors, or whatever the drawing requires for that site given the wind and wave conditions. Same process for the river, only it would be towed with tug and barge uh, to its destination. As you can see, whether it's floating or stationary, we've been working on this process for a long time. We've made it as efficient as possible. We enjoy working with our existing clients and look forward to working with new clients to build the waterfront.